developing now. The White House says as of now, there is no sign the Islamic State was behind today's deadly mosque bombings in Yemen. But as Karen Travers explains, an affiliate of ISIL claimed responsibility for the attacks. A horrifying scene in Yemen. At least 120 people are dead, more than 300 injured after multiple suicide bombers hit two crowded mosques during midday prayers in the capital of Sana'a. The mosques were controlled by Shiite rebels. Eyewitnesses said a first suicide bomber walked into one of the mosques and detonated his device. As panicked worshippers rushed to flee, a second suicide bomber launched an attack among the escaping crowds. A group claiming to be a Yemeni branch of the terror group ISIS took responsibility for the suicide attack. In an online post, the group warned of an upcoming flood of attacks against the rebels who've taken over the Yemeni capital and parts of the country. If today's bombings were in fact carried out by ISIS, it would be the group's first major attack in Yemen, a nation rocked by chaos and political instability. But the White House was skeptical, saying often these claims are made for propaganda purposes. There is not at this point uh, clear evidence of a operational link between these extremists in Yemen and uh, ISIL fighters in Iraq and Syria. Today's attack in Yemen follows the shooting rampage on Wednesday at a museum in the Tunisian capital of Tunis. Nearly two dozen were killed. ISIS claim responsibility. The White House also said today, just as in Yemen, there's no clear evidence to back up the ISIS claims in Tunisia. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.